What's up, everybody? This is I'm um, Grace Nyland here with Brendan Besser. Uh, we're outside of Kville right now on a chilly morning. Uh, we're about to get an inside look of what goes on in Kville inside the tents, where the greatest fans in the world camp out. What's going on, guys? How are you doing? We are at a uh, Gary Tent Jr., which is unbelievable. I love the name. How long have you guys uh, had this setup? So we've been out here since the first day of tenting, which was January 12th. Um, so we've been through the snow, the cold temperatures. Could you talk to me about the requirements for uh, individuals that have to be in the tent and also how you're able to manage that with you know the rigorous class schedule that a Duke student has to handle? Yeah, so right now we need uh, one person in the tent at all times and then six at night. And it's definitely tough with classes, but uh, Thomas over here organized a uh, spreadsheet. It's been pretty nice, like everyone's- That's the Duke difference. Yeah. Let's take a peek inside. What I'm seeing, we have a three room setup. We're in the living room right now. Uh, the master bedroom is where Grayson is to the left. We could easily fit at least 15. We might have to get the whole team in here and see if we can make that happen. That's very cool. My favorite part of this tent is the decorations of the flowers, signs, and the Gary Tent Jr. and also the Game of Thrones flag hanging up over here. We got a Venmo shout out right here so you guys can see. Cross out the beer. Money. <laughs> Flu medication, obviously, it gets cold. You also, you know, if you want photos with the tent, it's one dollar here, or if, or if you need a place to stay, 10 bucks, 10 bucks, it's really cheap. So now I'm here with one of the higher ups when it comes to tenting, this is Tamara, she's a line monitor. Uh, can, you, can you talk a little bit about the tenting, like how many tents are out here? There are 70 tents out here right now, and then the last 30 spots are reserved for white tenting. Could you uh, tell the people a little bit more about the history and, uh, and what Das Boot means to you? So Das Boot has been going for about five years now. This is my second year in the tent. Um, I love Das Boot. You get to know so many people. Um, we have two tents, we have 24 people. I also love the fact that you guys have a mailbox here. Let's, let's check out the inside. You have to cross the, the icy moat, <laughs> the American white picket fence. This is truly a home like none other. There's a beautiful patio section made with a variety of blue plastic crates. What you see here uh, architecturally comes from the postmodern style. How many people does this sleep? Well, we slept 10 during black tenting, but now we're at six, so you can use multiple sleeping bags as seen by the disarray in here. <laughs> Just like a mirror of the other side, identical design to the other side of Das Boot. And did you guys have any struggles or any rebuilding when the snow hit? No, but the struggle was a lot of like the ice and the water came through that corner, which is actually my corner right over there. And so I woke up one night, um, leftover ice, but one night I woke up and it was, I was drenched. I had to go back to East and, and change in showers, so that was fun. That was fun, he said. Das Boot is strong. Snow can't bring this one down. So how is the order of the tenting determined? So for black tenting, that means you wanted to start tenting on the first day. You get assigned a letter, and then through attendance events, like going to swimming or wrestling or something like that, you get points for your team. And um, based on the points you get through attendance events and through trivia, you get your order for black tenting. So the black tenters show some serious school support, not just with basketball, with every sport. We're here at the Commons. Uh, is this the first year that the Commons... If someone came and proposed this idea to us, didn't they have like a 3D uh, like well, like model the of the thing. tent, of the inside and everything, and then we got to like see it in person. Uh, it's really nice in there. This is a driveway constructed with eco-friendly uh, recycled wood. <laughs> oh, wow. This is truly extraordinary. Okay. <laughs> Well, folks, we saved the best for last. How has your experience in the Commons been? It's been great. Um, the couches are really comfortable. Um, sometimes I fall asleep on them. Well, they have a shag carpet. They have some really beautiful large bean bags. I, high vaulted ceilings. Uh, high vaulted ceilings uh, pointed, maybe uh, owed to the cathedral just down the road. Talk to me about your experience in the Commons so far comments okay well when my tent collapsed due to the wind I took refuge here so this is like my second home basically this is one of the best tents we've seen unbelievably spacious the Duke difference <laughs> all right everybody it's been unbelievably fun there are a lot of great tents out here but even more so there are a lot of unbelievable fans and we owe it all to them and uh, to the strong support of our Duke nation so thanks so much uh, it's Brennan Grayson Bull City we're out lockdown